What's up guys, it's me Peyton from Judgment Day Fitness. I did a 14 day challenge on planking, and I'm here to tell you guys about it. And holy crap, three videos in one week, I'm on fire. All right guys, so if you remember, I used to do 14 day challenges before my cancer set in, I couldn't really work out as much. I haven't done one in a while, but I'm like, you know what, I need to do one. So a few weeks ago, I decided to do a 14 day challenge on pull-ups, widespread pull-ups, of course. I've done one before when I did 300 a day, um, but that was when I was a lot stronger. So this time I decided to go with 250 a day, which I was barely able to complete. The last one I had no trouble at all completing, um, and that's because I was so much stronger than, this was probably six months ago, I think, or maybe more than six months. Um, I'll flash on stream. But yeah, so I did the I did the 14 day challenge at 250 a day. I also corrected my form this time. Um, I'm going to show you guys an example right now. But I used to do pull ups where um, my my goal was to just get my chin above the bar. But really, uh, you need to kind of lean backwards and and try and get your chest to the bar. It helps with um, it just gives you more of a stretch and it's just better form anyways. Getting your chin above the bar causes you to. Uh, just cheat on your form sort of so you just kind of like bring your neck up you know just to get your head above the bar um, and my, my strength has improved drastically I mean I'm already going up because muscle memory is absolutely my best friend right now aside from my dog back there love her to death Gracie you love me right okay I don't think she does um, yeah so so muscle memory is my absolute best friend right now but the 14 day challenge definitely helps my bench press went up by 15 pounds um, and which is weird because this is a back exercise, not a chest exercise, but it's helping your shoulders, so that's why. And if you guys can't tell, I'm a little sick right now, so sorry if my voice sounds off. Um, so yeah, it helps your shoulders, helps your biceps. My biceps grew a little bit, and my back got a little more defined. Um, here's the picture right now, if you didn't see it in the thumbnail. Um, as you can see on the left, my my before I did the 14 day challenge my back was you know pretty decent muscle memory still helping me I've kind of peaked on muscle memory so this is um, the muscle memory isn't really too big of a factor in this um, and then as you see on the right it's just more defined more uh, stri not striations but more there's more muscle you can see and more definition um, so I definitely say this challenge was very useful so we'll be honest with you guys I was sick for most of this challenge so one day I just got too much and I missed day 13 um, either way, I still experienced significant muscle growth and improvements in my strength and size and definition and everything. So I'd highly recommend this challenge. Keep in mind that this was on top of my regularly scheduled workouts and even on my rest days, I'd still do 250 pull-ups aside from day 13. Um, I'd yeah, like I said, I'd highly recommend this challenge to anybody who does it. Every time I do a 14 challenge, I experience a lot of improvements in strength and size. Um, and so next, I think I'll be doing a push-up challenge. And if you guys have any ideas for challenges that you want to see me do, list them in the description below. Keep in mind, I can't go to the gym every day, so it's got to be something like uh, pull-ups, push-ups, um, bodyweight squats, something like that. Um, but I'm always open to new ideas, and I love hearing from you guys. So be sure to comment, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe to this channel as well. I'll see you guys next time. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and the Facebook forum on the link down below. Be sure to follow me there as well. Have a great day.